Hi everyone, it is Sabra from Hoof Falls and Foot Falls, and I am live here with my horse Ducky. Uh, he's my personal horse and also one of my lesson horses that I use for both traditional lessons and my adaptive or therapeutic riding lessons that I teach as well. So we're getting ready to do a, a schooling session here to exercise Ducky, and I'm going to be lunging him. So lunging is a go-to exercise for my horses uh, when I don't have time to tack him up and ride or uh, put any type of more formal lunging gear on. So I wanted to show you guys how I quickly set up for a safe lunge line session while using a halter. Um, so a lot of times people just take their lunge line and clip it right here to the middle part of the halter, kind of where I have my lead rope at. I personally don't like clipping on my lunge line to the halter in the center ring here because as your horse is working around the circle, even if they're super light on the lunge line, their halter tends to rotate and get twisted and, and it can push up into their eye and kind of uh, pull across the nose. So to avoid that situation, what I like to do is, first I'm gonna just kind of set my leader up up here, duck knows how to stand, and I'm gonna clip my lunge line here to this portion of his halter. I already have my lunge line all folded and ready to go for the lunge session. I clip it on here and that way when Ducky is working around the arena, um, right now for me looking at it, it's tracking left because I'm on the left side of his body. This applies more of an even pull that would be more straight out from the side of his face instead of creating torque here uh, where it twists, or I'm sorry, it would twist around this way of his face if I clip on here in the middle. Now the thing with this though is that when you go to change directions, you're gonna have to ask your horse to halt and then change the clip from here on the side that you started on to the square that is on the other side of the halter. Um, I personally ask my horses to halt and stand out on the edge of the circle while I ask for the woe, I walk up to them, I switch the line to the other side, and then bring them back to the middle with me and then send them out going the other direction. Um, so that's just a way that I can practice good ground manners um, while we're on the lunge line because I also use lunging in my mounted lessons with a lot of my students. So I don't like my horses learning that they can change directions while they're out on the end of the lunge line. And also if you're using this method, with the lunge line clip to the side of the halter, when the horse changes directions, if they're out on the end of the line and they switch directions, this is gonna get over top of their nose or underneath their chin and get them all tangled up. Um, so this is just kind of my method for lunging off of a halter. This is something that I know it is safe to lunge this horse in a halter. Uh, he knows how to um, respond to pressure off of a halter. He knows he has good ground manners. So this is a safe situation. If this was a newer horse where I didn't think that this was a safe situation, then I would um, go back to the basics of ground skills of learning how to um, respond to halter pressure even on just a lead line before we even start any type of lunging activities. You also might notice that I have this untucked on my halter. This is a personal preference. Um, I like leaving these untucked. I know it's not the most tidy looking thing, but I personally like being able to walk up and have a quick release mechanism for these halters that really don't have an easy breakaway. So um, I leave these untucked as a way to get my horse out of an unsafe situation if they're tied and they decide to pull back, or if something happens during a lunge line session where he gets all tangled up and I need to go release the halter. There's many different reasons why I leave this untucked. So I know it's not the prettiest thing, um, but I don't like it being jammed in there and, and tucked tightly. So I hope that's a helpful tip for you guys. Um, if you do lunge off of your halter, I would challenge you guys to try clipping your lunge line, not onto the circle that's in the center of the chin where we should be leading from, but from the side of the halter that you are lunging from. So the left side of the halter, if you're gonna be tracking left, and then change it to the other side, right side of the halter when you're tracking right. Let me know if this is a method that you use when you are lunging your horse off of the halter and if it is a method that you like. Have a wonderful day.